Praise God. Good morning. Welcome to this morning Holy Eucharistic celebration. Saint Peter Chanal, priest and martyr. The Universal Church today honors the first martyr of Oceania, born in France. Peter Chanel became a diocesan priest. He served selflessly as an assistant priest, parish priest, and seminary rector. In 1836, he joined the newly formed Society of Mary and was sent to Oceania. Misunderstanding and opposition made his work discouraging, but he found strength in prayer and the Eucharist. Finally, he converted the son of the king of Futana in Polynesia, and for that he was martyred. Let us pray for divine retreat center so must be. Heavenly, Heavenly Father, let your eyes be open by the day upon the divine deeds in the sun and speed. May your holy presence fill this house of prayer and use your temple, may be rejected the days of safety. In the blessed find hope, you will be fine to be. Protect us your home from all the directions, and let your Holy Spirit rest upon you. Praise you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Entrance and defend. I will praise you. Sorry for the technical error. Let us begin the Holy Eucharist. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. With Dear loving children of God, let us continue to pray for the people who are struggling due to this pandemic in different parts of the world. Remember them, their struggles, especially people who are, people who are no access to the hospitals at this time people who are not able to go to hospital because of no much infrastructures, all those who are struggling connected with their health, their concerns and worries about their health. Let us support all those who are uh, in a comfortable position right now, people who seem to be 
are protected and safe now let us remember our brothers and sisters who are struggling at this time let us acknowledge our failures and shortcomings so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries i confess to almighty god and to you my brothers and sisters that have great listen in my thoughts in my words in what i have done and in what i have failed to do through my fall through my fall through my most grievous fall therefore i ask blessed mary of a virgin all the angels and saints and to you my brothers and sisters to pray for me to the lord our god may almighty god have mercy on us forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life lord have mercy christ have mercy lord have mercy let us pray O God who for the spreading of your church crowned Saint Peter Shanel as the first martyr of your church in Oceania grant that in these days of paschal joy we may so celebrate the mysteries of Christ's death and resurrection as to bear worthy witness to newness of life through our Lord Jesus Christ your son who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the holy spirit one god forever and ever amen please be seated for readings the first reading a reading from the acts of the apostles the word of god continued to spread and gain followers barnabas and saul completed their task and came back from Jerusalem bringing John Mark with them in the church of Antioch the following were prophets and teachers Barnabas Simeon called Niger and Lucius of Cyrene Manian who had bought up who had been bought up with Herod the tetrarch and Saul One day while they were offering worship to the Lord and keeping a fast the Holy Spirit said I want Barnabas and Saul set apart for the work to which I have called them So it was after fasting and prayer they laid their hands on them and sent them off So these two sent on their mission by the Holy Spirit went down to Cilicia and from there sailed to Cyprus they landed at Salamis and proclaimed the word of God in the synagogues of the Jews John acted as their assistant this is the word of the Lord be your response shall be o god let all nations praise you O oh God be gracious and bless us and let your face shed its light upon us so will your ways be known upon earth and all nations learn your saving help your response O oh God, oh God let all nations praise you let all nations be glad and exult for you rule the world with justice with fairness you rule the peoples you guide the nation on the earth your response o oh god let all nations praise you let the peoples praise you o oh god let all peoples praise you may god still give his blessing till the ends of the earth revere him your response o oh god let all nations praise you please stand for the gospel acclamation hallelujah hallelujah I am the light of the world says the Lord whoever follows me will have the light of life hallelujah
the lord be with you reading from the holy gospel according to john jesus declared publicly whoever believes in me believes not in me but in the one who sent me and whoever sees me sees the one who sent me i the light have come into the world so that whoever believes in me need not stay in the dark any more if anyone hears my words and does not keep them faithfully it's not i who shall condemn him since i have come not to condemn the world but to save the world he who rejects me and refuses my words has just has his judge already the word itself that i have spoken will be his judge on the last day for what i have spoken does not come from myself no what i was to say what i had to speak was commanded by the father who sent me and i know that this commands mean eternal life therefore what the father has told me is what i speak the gospel of the lord dear loving children of god the word of god speaks to us today i the light have come into the world so that whoever believes in me need not stay in the dark any more so all those who are finding or maybe all those who are experiencing any kind of darkness within or in and around the message to all such people come back to the lord turn to the lord with your little prayer turn to the lord with a total trust and surrender because you are not going to stay any more in dark god helps the father the son and the holy spirit blessed are you lord god of all creation through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you fruit of the earth walk of human hands it will become for us the bread of life by the mystery of the water and the wine may we come to know the divinity of Christ who humbled himself to share in our humanity blessed are you lord god of all creation through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you fruit of the wine the work of human hands it will become a spiritual drink with a humble spirit and contrite heart may we be accepted by you o lord may our sacrifice in your sight this day be pleasing to you wash me o lord from my iniquity and cleanse me from all my sins pray brethren that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to god the almighty father accept o god of all mercy these offerings of our service grant us we pray the gifts of your holy spirit so that like saint peter chanel we may prove unshakable in the face of adversity through christ our lord Amen. the lord be with you 
lift up your heart let us give thanks to the lord our god it is truly right and just our duty and our salvation at all times to acclaim your lord on this day above all to love you at more gloriously when christ our passover has been sacrificed for he is the true lamb who has taken away the sins of the world by dying he has destroyed our death by rising restored our life therefore overcome with the paschal joy every land every people exults in your praise even the heavenly powers with the angelic host sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim holy 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 god of hosts heaven and earth are full of your glory Hosanna in the blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall. so that they may become for us the body and blood of our lord jesus christ at the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion he took bread and giving thanks broke it gave it to his disciples saying take this all of you and eat of it for this is my body which will be given up for you in a similar way when supper was ended He took the chalice and once more giving thanks he gave it to his disciples saying Take this all of you and drink from it for this is the chalice of my blood the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins do this in memory of me the mystery of faith savers savior of the world for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free therefore as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection we offer you lord the bread of life and the chalice of salvation giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you Humbly we pray that the partaking of the body and the blood of Christ we might be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember Lord your church spread throughout the world bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis our pope Anthony a bishop and all the clergy. Remember also brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. welcome them into the light of your face a mercy on us all we pray a mercy on all the people struggling due to this pandemic a mercy on all the people who are really concerned and worried about their health and their future we pray with the blessed virgin mary mother of god blessed joseph her devoted spouse Blessed apostles and all the saints Saint Peter Chanel Saint Vincent de Paul Saint Mary Magdalene and all those who have pleased you throughout the ages we may merit to be co heirs to eternal life may praise and glorify you through your son Jesus Christ Through him 
and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, O glory and honor is yours forever and ever. the Savior's command, formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we might be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope, the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said your apostles, peace, I leave you. My peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. I am not worthy that you should enter my roof. But only say a word, my soul shall be healed. Those who are not able to go to church today physically, this is your time of spiritual communion. You can join along with me right now. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in this most holy sacrament. Love you above all things. I desire to receive you into my soul. Come spiritually into my heart. Embrace you as you are already there. And unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. the body and the blood of Christ keep us to have eternal life.
Let us pray. Give strength, O Lord, to those who have shared this meal of salvation and joy, that following eagerly with the St. Peter channel, in the footsteps of your only begotten Son, we may proclaim the gospel of peace and truth through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. May the Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Mass is entered. Glorify God by our lives. Saint Michael the Archangel, defend us in the day of bad. Be our safeguard against the wickedness and the snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, thrust into hell, said, and all the evil spirits who wander through the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Prayer for priest, O Jesus, eternal priest, keep all your priests. An everlasting crown. Amen. Queen of the Virgin, pray for, obtain for many holy priests. Amen. I'll see.